It is not uncommon to hear parents raising autistic children talking about the fact that the relationship with their wives or husband has become more like a roommate rather than a loving spouse type of relationship. In today's video, I'm going to share with you some tips to keep your marriage strong or reconnect with your spouse so you can work together as a team, love each other, support each other, and in turn, support your autistic child together. Coming up next. Hi guys, this is Maria Bort and welcome to my channel and let's go straight to today's topic. You know, it is not uncommon for parents raising autistic children to spend less and less time together due to busy schedules, being overwhelmed, double meltdowns or the lack of services for the child and overall trying to cope with a world that is not always autism friendly. This is why you need to keep making time for your relationship with your partner. Schedule a date if necessary, and even though you might think doing this is too robotic, do whatever needs to be done to ensure that you can spend time with your spouse. You don't have to go to a fancy restaurant to do this, or even go out. You can have a picnic in the middle of your living room floor, with candles at night, with some nice music, or maybe just watching a movie together. Now you might be saying, Maria, nice ideas, but the relationship with my wife or husband is beyond repair. We have been living like roommates for way too long to do all of this. If there is love and care, it is never too late. Maybe you won't be able to do all of this at first. However, it is important to start by having an honest, heart-to-heart -heart talk with your spouse. Listen to what they have to say and express how you feel. It will probably be an emotionally charged conversation because resentment has been built throughout the years and feelings have been hurt. But what is important is to let all these feelings out. Bottling it up inside would make things worse. Don't be afraid to seek counsel if necessary. If you and your spouse are unable to communicate effectively, having an external person who is a professional and not related to both of you can help and offer great advice. If your spouse does not want to go counseling, go anyways because, like I always say, besides being an autism parent, you are first and foremost an individual. So go and try to get as much help as you can and make whatever changes are necessary to impact your life in a positive way. Marriage is hard work, so try your best to keep the communication open. If you would like to share what your experience has been like or maybe you have other ideas or suggestions, please leave a comment in the section below right after subscribing.